everyone and welcome to the captain's video vlog. We are Monday, July the 4th, 2016. I'm slightly more rested than uh, earlier today for the, <laughs> you know, for the fact that I, I, I slept during a bit of the evening. Um, yeah, because <laughs> I actually didn't manage to, well, to uh, go to my bed um, around the end of the video vlog for some reason. I think that the Tour de France stage was still on. I completely missed the finish. The only thing I know, uh, because I gathered it from what I heard when I was waking up, was that uh, <laughs> they used the, f the they had to use the the photo finish to find out who won between Andre Greipel and Mark Cavendish. I think that Cavendish won because obviously it's Mark Cavendish. Come on now. Um, but yeah, uh, as I thought. The breakaway from from Volkler um, only did one thing: was to wake up the peloton. Because um, well, between the time when I I last watched uh, before filming the video vlog, and then the going back in front of the TV, um, the <laughs> the time uh, from the the two people in the breakaway uh, went down from four minutes to two minutes. Which is uh, not great. Anyway, um, I said that I wouldn't do any Fourth of July jokes, but I I did one, which was posting uh, <laughs> on Twitter, so tweeting the theme song of Rusev, but that's wrestling, and he's the U.S. champion. So I guess that it's fair game. Um, you know, people are talking about uh, all all kinds of stuff like. Uh, Fireworks and all that. We're we're getting that in in, in ten days actually. Um, and it's going to be great. We're um, doing stuff, fun stuff. July. Um, a lot of uh, of pages have posted this thing about uh, the the guy in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series, where he, you know uh, in America and all that. Except he's Canadian, and that's I think that's. It's the best joke uh, relating to that. Oh, oh. Well, the clock tower is is striking two, which means that it's almost going to be the start of Raw. But I mean, that doesn't really matter because, <laughs> obviously, because we are the fourth of July, it's gonna open with a little package to remind everyone that America, fuck yeah, pretty much. Um, should take a good five minutes. <laughs> so uh, I I guess that it's okay. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, one thing that I wanted to talk about in Saturday's video vlog and then in yesterday's vi in, uh, yeah, yesterday's video vlog and that I totally forgot was that, you know, sometimes you're about to go to sleep and it's in the morning and, uh, suddenly people ask you to do something and you're like, well, I, if I don't do it, I'm gonna have my, my day ruined. <laughs> So, um, uh, I don't e exactly remember what it was on Saturday morning, but I do remember that, uh, well, today, it was um, <laughs> assembling a, a fan, uh, which is, you know, something that's usually far out of my reach as uh, someone who's got two left hands. Well, I mean, that's not literally, though, because uh, that, that would be unuseful. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really not good with my hands, so having to to do that kind of manual stuff is like, oh boy, what what am I gonna do? Uh, so yeah, I don't really have a lot to talk about because obviously uh, between between uh, the time where I recorded the last video blog and right now, only eight uh, eight eight hours have gone by, and uh, during those eight hours I have mostly slept uh, which is you know not the best way to start something I think it I, I no, it's not that I think it has rained and uh, despite that inside the house not not in the garage though I mean the garage it's still hot in there but it's not as hot as in the house maybe some cooking has been involved in keeping the, the temperature so high uh, not entirely sure. 
but yeah, it's it's uh, saying that it, it, it's tough to to uh, to breathe might be a little bit of an understatement. Uh, yeah, I should probably get a haircut because you know, um, besides the fact that my parents are getting married in well a little bit less than two months now, um, I really need to go through the the summer more easily um, and that would come through you know getting rid of that bush <laughs> that's uh, sitting on my head uh, I mean at this point I'm, I'm full on vlogging I guess um, I'm still not entirely sure why I'm doing it in the garage instead of you know pushing stuff away and closing the door and filming it in the kitchen but at least here the you can breathe a little bit better. Um, yeah. Uh, probably the rain is involved in making that happen. You know, the rain. In summer, the rain could be a blessing, but could also be a curse, depending on on when it falls. If it falls during the day, and uh, you know, when I say during the day, it's most likely you know uh, start of the afternoon. Um, it's not gonna help because well. Uh, it's gonna make all the heat, obviously, I'm, I'm explaining something very obvious, I don't know why. It's gonna make the heat of the in the ground go out, so uh, that's more heat. Uh, and then it's just gonna use, you know, it's just gonna act as some kind of mirror over the, the ground. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's getting even hotter. Though, if it rains, you know, pretty late in the afternoon, starting on the evening, in the night, all that, uh, that's that's the good stuff right there. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Um, oh, oh <laughs> uh, I just remembered that little nugget from uh, the New York Times, who were apparently so happy that a report found out that uh, something that Donald Trump posted uh, was <laughs> had a link with Paul. Um, and it was because, you know, saying Hillary Clinton is fruit and they used uh, a Star of David to say, haha, it's the Jews, woo! And uh, somehow it took a lot of investigative uh, work, journalism, to find out that it came from alt right central, you know, Paul. Um, <laughs> so actually, it's my cat who wants to get in. That, I, I understand that. Jesus Christ, he's not gonna stop. Oh. So yeah, uh, I, uh, you know, if you have a journalist that's a bit internet savvy, he's probably, you know, gonna do uh, right click, uh, you know, if he's using that uh, RAM eating machine that is Google Chrome, uh, right click, find the same image or something like that, I, I don't even know how the menus work in English, because I, <laughs> I mean, I don't use Google Chrome in English, that would be <sighs> too complicated sometimes. Um, and oh, I guess that in the first couple of links you would find something that redirects to either Paul directly or an archive of Paul. Even though I'm not sure that a lot of of Russian uh, archival websites would <laughs> be too kind to you know uh, to host uh, all the borderline imagery that's on Paul. I mean, R9K was a big problem because they uh, they sometimes posted CP, and that's that's not uh, that's uh, you know servers they don't like that. Uh, so yeah, um, but really you you like yeah I've done a lot of investigative work to find out that it's from the most obvious place on the internet that this surfaced. <sighs> We're in 2016. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Paul was a participant in the in the inaugural uh, 4chan Cup, so it was 2011. So it's been around for more than five years. It's a it's a bit weird that at this point, when you see something that's vaguely reminiscent of anti-Semitic, you know, white power kind of neo-Nazi uh, content, you don't immediately think, oh. It is from Paul. <laughs> I mean, even the name of the board, politically incorrect. It's all in there. Uh, though, to be fair, um, let's be honest, it might as well be 
you know, because uh, Donald Trump has been, he is known for not exactly looking into the things he puts on his social media. Um, he, it might as well be uh, from uh, an, an alternate, you know, uh, completely opposite side of the spectrum who just wants to see him sink. And um, I mean, that's, that's kind of shitty tactics, but uh, I guess I can vouch for that. Uh, so yeah um, thank you for watching see you uh, fuck tomorrow yeah goodbye uh, I haven't finished eating that's gonna be a long night